Hello everyone, this is Einfari here. I apologize, I've been pretty sick lately, so I haven't really made a lot of videos. My voice sounds terrible, but recently I was doing some repairs and was trying to like look for some flexies that I could use, and I found this crappy core in my parts bin. I think I had thrown it in there before because it wouldn't boot, and I thought it was a dud because it had a normal serial number on it. But when I was opening it up, it turns out it had some DVT-5 labeling on it. So when it actually boots with no software, it does some interesting stuff. I'm going to try to see if I can get it to do it here because it probably was in the junk bin for a reason. Because it freezes a lot and it's kind of buggy, but it does make some interesting noises. So I'm going to boot it up. And I'm just going to try not to cough here. I've just been like sick constantly just between holiday stress and just my immune system taking a hit because of it. Yeah, but it does like this weird like incomplete boot stretch which I find interesting. Stop that. Like another really bizarre thing it does is no matter what head I put on it, when it reaches like the middle point, it starts like getting jitters, even if like the head's not jittery. Like I tried putting a super core head on it recently and it did the same thing, even if that head doesn't jitter usually. Yeah, like, it's weirdly buggy because it, like, does some skits like that. And it has, like, some sounds that aren't normal, but I also... A weird thing I notice is that, like, it only responds to, like, the sensors sometimes. So I don't know if it's just running some sort of demo... I'm so glad that the newer ones don't use analog pods. They're such a pain in the butt. And I don't think it listens to any voice commands because I haven't gotten it to hear anything, but the demo mode, even for production IBOs, it don't they don't listen to voice commands either from what I've seen. Jitters are awful. Yeah, like I've gotten it to respond to sensors sometimes, but it's usually just doesn't want to do it. I want to get the sensors to work, but like half the time I'll boot it and it just, just like, nope, don't feel like it. But this, whatever software it is running, 
I've gotten the, like the head and chin sensors to work. It kind of does like do 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 noise like you heard earlier. If I actually get it to work, yeah, it looks like it's not gonna do it. And I haven't gotten the chin sensor to work with like any heads. And like half the time it'll act like it's trying to save something when you shut it off, but sometimes you just have to like pull the battery out because it just doesn't want to do it. But other times it does. It did not like the super core head when I tried that either. So I'm guessing this is like a test for something. So like most test things, it probably had issues. So who knows? It also like once you run it for a while, it also freezes like this. So it probably does have, it probably was some kind of tester and like a lot of tester things. It has bugs and issues and all that stuff. So that's probably why it ended up like in the junk bin with Sony at some point. I don't really know where it came from. Yeah, see, it, it's not responding to anything. It's not sure if it responds to a ball at all. It just is so, so buggy that it does just kind of seemed to be able to run and do its thing for a while, but then it just freezes like this. I'm guessing it was just some sort of test. Again, who, like, I know Sony won't ever release even, like, their ancient IPs like this, so we'll never know, but it's at least interesting to see this. I'm going to try to give it a reboot and see if that does anything. Yeah, and see, it just, like... It will, a lot of times it just kind of sits like this and blinks indefinitely. It doesn't make saving beeps. Sometimes it'll do like a saving beep at the end. I don't know what it's trying to save specifically, but yeah, it's just it's just super weird. I don't know if it's looking for like different parts. It might it just might have some communication issues with the production parts might be part of the issue, or it might just be a defective test core. It's it's hard to say. I think it's still cool to have, even though it does have some issues, but that's to be expected of stuff like this. I'm going to try to maybe do a little more research or see if there... I know there's some people that can maybe look at firmware on these older models. I just wish that there would be released on some documentation. Because this, like, this IP is so old that no one's ever going to use it for making money off of anything. So it's damn near 25 years old at this point, so... Even there's some, like, like the same seller who's, who I got this from had, like, some weird old prototypes and some other eyeballs that had some issues. So I just thought it was really interesting trying to learn about this, but I don't think we'll ever really know, like, what the history of it was as much as I wish there was. So I'm probably going to have to try to pull the battery out of here and see if I can get it to boot up again, because it's just... Having some, I think it just has issues communicating with the production parts, which is why it's so buggy. So anyway, I'm going to try to see if I can get it to do some more functions, maybe make some more videos, but thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll be better when I can make some more videos, but if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe.